Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab. And in today's podcast, we're going to discuss about Salt Typhoon, a silent cyber espionage threat. This is creating a lot of buzzword in 2024 in US and why it is dangerous for you, you need to understand that. My name is Prab, and for more information, you can check my LinkedIn profile. Imagine your phone calls, emails, sensitive documents are being monitored, not by someone you know, but by the shadow group of hackers which is halfway across the globe. Sound like spy thriller, right? But what, what if I told you that this is not a fiction, so it is happening right now. Today, we are diving into the story of Salt Typhoon, a Chinese state sponsor hacking group that has silently breached some of the world's most secure systems. And why are these called Salt Typhoon? What is their mission, how they operate, or how do they operate? And how does this affect the countries like India? Stick around this till the end because this episode will change how you think about cybersecurity. So first part, we're going to discuss about the origin and mission of Salt Typhoon. See, Salt Typhoon, also known as a Gallium, G-A-L-L-I-U-M, Gallium, is not just another hacking group. They are a state-sponsored hacking group backed by China as per the source. And they emerged in 2012 and their primary focus was always been a cyber espionage. They're stealing the sensitive information and spying on critical systems worldwide. The question is, why do they exist? Let me break it down. So first, their objective was to dominate the digital battlefield. The groups like Sol Typhoon aim to gather intelligence from the other countries to stay ahead in a global power dynamics. And second, their primary objective, second objective is to weaken the rival nations. So by compromising the critical infrastructure like telecom, government and defense, they aim to disrupt their rival security and economy. And over the years, Sol Typhoon attack have become more precise and devastating Silently, they're targeting the backbone of national security worldwide. And we can take an example of recent attack which has happened in US. In 2024, the Sol Typhoon launched one of the biggest cyber attack on a US telecom companies. Their primary target was Cisco routers, which are essential for managing the internet connection across the country. How they, expo- how they exploit that? How they carry out this attack? The first is that they found old vulnerability they found the vulnerabilities in the outdated routers which is used to break into the network then they basically use the technique called lotl which is called living of the land tactics so instead of bringing their own hacking tool they use the existing softwares like powershells which is already installed in the system and then by planting a backdoor they ensure they could return anything without being noticed and this attack allow them to monitor the sensitive communication including those government officials and high profiles informations and second is steal the critical data like information that could harm the national security which was accessed and exfiltrated imagine the scale the thousand of private communication compromised with the national secret export and this was not just a breach it was a direct attack on the on the country, security and infrastructure. And before we get into how they operate in other attacks, let me also give you an answer why this is called as a salt and typhoon. See, the word salt is referred to the ability of mix and blend with legitimate activities within a system. Just like a salt dissolve in water and become invisible, salt typhoon technique also allow them to be stay hidden while infiltrating the critical system and typhoon is part symbolize their destructive potential and typhoon does not just hit it basically deviates the everything in it, it it's to the path so salt typhoon attacks are are silent but leave long-term damage and making their name fitting and terrifying exactly so now we're going to discuss about how does salt typhoon works see Sol Typhoon operate step by step and don't worry, I will try to keep it simple. The first step, what they do, they do, re- they do the research and planning, which is also called reconnaissance. So first they do the proper homework and they don't just blindly do attack. They study the target carefully, identifying all the weak points in the router, firewall software and use a phishing email to trick employee into sharing a password or clicking the harmful link. Example, imagine you're receiving an email that looks like it's from your boss asking you to urgently verify your login details. You click on the links, enter your password and boom, they have access to your system. Once they find a way, they exploit it, they install the backdoor which act as a secret entry point to the system and they connect the compromised system to their command and control server, a server by which they fetch the data which allow them to remotely control the network. So think of it this way, the thief breaking into your house and installing the secret door only they can use. 
the third thing is what they do is they do the moving around which is called as a lateral movement lateral movement mean moving from one network to another network so they don't, don't they don't stop after breaking it they actually move from one system to another within the network and looking for the critical information like classified government documents or defense technology and this is possible because many systems have weak security settings and it allow them to be move freely without being detected then final step is stealing the data but here's a smart part is they encrypt the stolen data so look like a normal traffic and avoid the detection because if it's encrypted firewall will not able to inspect that and then they send it to the server outside the target countries and you will imagine what kind of a data they steal government files communication logs of high rank officials and defense secret exactly defense secret so why is salt typhoon is so dangerous so when making a salt typhoon so dangerous because of the strategy a best strategy and that's why you know they known for the group why because their strategy keep changing for every target they use the existing tool powershell which is a normal thing for the windows they use the same tool to exploit the system so instead of using a suspicious softwares they work with the what already in the system and making hard to detect it is just like thief breaking into your home using your own hammer to crack your safe second is they stay for the long term because salt typhoon does not attack and leave they stay hidden in the system for a month sometime year and they design malware specifically for each target today for this target this is a malware for tomorrow someone else uh, we have a uh, some different malware so that something is basically there now salt often can be dangerous for india also because telecom network is growing it can be t- key target for them and with the rising of geopolitical tension the group like salt often could target the sensitive infrastructure and projects so now question is how to protect ourselves keep your system updated be careful with the emails critical industries need a better security tools and monitoring and trust no one by default and always verify so user and device trying to access your system so that you have to check so salt typhoon is a reminder that you know cyber attack are not just about stealing money they are about stealing the secret and disruptive entire nation and this is a wake up call for the government industries even the individuals to take the cyber security seriously and if you found this episode helpful share it with your friends and family let's spread awareness about staying safe in a digital world This is your host Prab signing off stay safe stay secure and remember cybersecurity is everyone responsibility thank you so much good day bye